Welcome back to self-service. This video is going to go over how to get registered through your self-service. Once you are logged in, you will see your homepage. Click on Student Planning. This will bring up your steps you need to get started, as well as your class schedule. You will want to see what classes you need in your current degree plan first. The previous video, titled My Progress, shows you how to view and read your degree plan. You can either search for courses up here, or you can click on Go to Plan and Schedule. Once you click on Go to Plan and Schedule, it will bring up your semester schedule. If you are looking for a future semester that we are currently registering for, you need to click on this plus sign, and you'll choose which term you want to attend. This will add a semester to your plan. As of right now, you can see that it says no courses selected for this term. If you go up here to search for courses, type what you want to take and a list will pull up. So let's say we want to take an online class in English. You can filter your results over here. We'll click on Internet Virtual College for Summer 1. We'll then go over to English 1301 and view available sections. If there are more than one class being offered, they will all show up on this list. Click on Add Section to Schedule, and this pop-up will give you some details about the course you have selected, including meeting information, instructor, dates, how many seats are available, how many credits you'll receive, and any other kind of information. We'll click Add Section. Now we can search for, let's do History. This time, we're going to take a face-to-face -face class. So you'll go over to your filters, choose Summer 1, and whichever campus you are going to attend. Go to View Available Sections for History 1301, and you want to make sure the time and the date work for you. Click on Add Section to Schedule, and Add Section. Next, we'll search for Government. with the same filters. And add section to schedule and add section. You click on student planning and then plan and schedule and here we are back at your schedule. You will click the arrow over, it will show up the next term. As you can see here on the left side, it shows that our courses that we have currently planned out, but they are not registered for yet. On our timeline here, you can see that the blocks are yellow. These show up to help make sure you are not overlapping your classes. As you can see here, I have about 10 minutes after my history class ends to get to my government class. If you scroll down on the page, you'll see sections with no meeting times. This is going to be where your online courses are going to be listed. If you decide you do not want to take a course, you'll click the X on the box. So we'll take off English, bring up confirmation, and remove. And this will no longer show up on your schedule. To register for the course, click on register. This will then update your schedule and it will process this information. Once that's processed, you can see the government is now lit up in green. You are now registered for that class. As you can see here on the left hand side, it says registered but not started. You are good to go to that class during that time. If you register for it and change your mind, click on drop. This will bring a pop up box to confirm. Select your section to drop and you can add anything you want if that is listed click update. This will then again turn the box yellow as planned, but not registered. If you decide you like your schedule and would like to register for everything, you can click on register now and it will register all. This will take you through updates and removes. And as you can see, everything lit up green, you are registered and good to go. We'll 
drop those. If you change your mind about the semester and would like either a different semester or different classes altogether, you can remove all planned courses by clicking on Remove Planned Courses. You'll confirm your selection, and those classes are now gone from your schedule, and you can go on to the next semester and plan for this one.